federal government takes action to bring Aussies home from India. The Royals celebrate Archie's second birthday with a new photo. And new competition in the Australian streaming industry. It's Friday, I'm India and this is The Skinny. The Prime Minister has announced repatriation flights from India will resume on May 15 to help bring stranded Aussies home. Three flights are scheduled for May with passengers to be flown to Darwin to quarantine. 900 people are listed as vulnerable. Uh, there will be no change to the biosecurity orders that we have put in place, uh, which were put in place to run till the 15th of May. That biosecurity order is working as exactly was it, as it was intended to, and that will remain in place with no change until the 15th of May. The government has made no decision yet on the, uh, the, the restarting of normal commercial flights from India. We will take further advice on that next week. I will consult with the premiers and chief ministers today as part of that national cabinet meeting. People who visited Sydney exposure sites are now blocked from entering South Australia and are being forced into 14-day quarantine upon entry into Queensland. The update comes after a married couple tested positive to coronavirus, slapping Greater Sydney with new restrictions. Trainer Kim War, the wife of Aussie cricket great Mark War, is expected to fight animal cruelty charges. Mrs War will face a steward's hearing later this month after allegedly failing to prevent the use of illegal spurs. She's been slapped with three animal cruelty charges. An Australian women's group has lashed out at the decision to allow a biological male weightlifter to compete in the female category at the Olympics. Save Women's Sport Australasia is protesting Laurel Hubbard's participation, comparing it to doping. The Olympic Committee ruled her testosterone levels are low enough. The US Defense Force says it has no plans to shoot down a Chinese rocket falling to Earth. The out-of-control rocket is expected to enter the atmosphere this weekend and small fragments could reach the ground. The Pentagon hit out at China for losing control of it. At this point, we, we, we don't have a plan to shoot the, the rocket down. We're hopeful that that it will land in, uh, in a place where it won't, uh, won't harm anyone, uh, hopefully in the ocean or, or someplace like that. Harry and Megan have released a new photo to mark Archie's second birthday and have asked people to donate money for vaccine equality. The photo and message was posted on their Archwell charity page. His royal relatives have also posted public happy birthday messages. And a Paramount Pictures streaming service is coming to Australia, heating up competition for subscribers. Customers will be given a choice of over 20,000 episodes and movies, including The Godfather, Shrek and Transformers. Paramount Plus will launch on August 11. Stay up to date at 11news.com.au and check us out on 11network.tv. Have a great weekend.